What is up YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics and today in this video I'm going to be going over some very good tips for people who is beginning to get into the artistic world who is doing digital drawings to just regular drawings to any kind of artwork that involves a stylus or a pen or a pencil and that is going to be tracing. A lot of people really do frown upon tracing when it comes to beginners. It's one of the best ways to learn how to do anything. In this video I'm going to be using these two images to draw my traces and just to get the bare bones down of the whole entire image. Now I sourced these two images off of Instagram. One person, the one on the right is someone who I follow and then the other one on the left is just someone who I just screenshotted. But the purpose of this video is not to trace the character and all of his detail. It is to trace the body, trying to figure out how the shapes work with the body. And when it comes to me, when I draw, I always say it, rough sketch out your body with the basic shapes, square, circles, triangles, ovals. Those are your building blocks for any character that you're gonna be building. And and in this case, when it comes to tracing it, that is what we're going to be focusing on. We're going to be focusing on those building blocks on how to build a character. And like I said earlier, just tracing out the character, rough sketching out the edges, only the outline edges of the body. And just trying to figure out how the character is built is the way how to do it. And as you see here, that this character has kind of like a pose, sticking her hand out and it's just there a lot, lot of um, different ways that the body is showing its movement and things like that and so you have to really pay attention to the way how the figure is shaped and things like that because realistically as you figure out how to make your building blocks you can make any character you want a lot of beginner artists what they do wrong is that they just start filling all the detail out right at the beginning but as you see here I'm just gonna just outline the edges with the building blocks for example her leg is like an oval circle if you will um, and her base where her butt is at where her crotch area is at it's always going to be a circle you can either make it to the end of the legs or not you can make it smaller i always usually make mine just a little bit smaller before i start adding in detail and again like i always say for all of my women characters triangles is always going to be the torso area and shoulders is always going to be circles and this is probably one of the best ways how to figure out how to draw someone. Um, a couple years ago, back when I was taking figure drawing, this is what the teacher told us to do. Instead of just drawing the character out who was in front of us, our model, straight out. He said, use the building blocks because sometimes they add extra little detail that you might not have wanted to do that at first or it might have been a mistake, but it comes out showing out better at the end product. And as you see here, this character is coming along very easily, very nicely. And you can see how I'm just showing off how... I'm building up this character with the building blocks, with the circles, the squares, the triangles. Um, usually squares is almost exclusively always for the hands and then you can just round them out later depending how you want to curve them out. Um, head's always going to be a circle and that's pretty much it when it comes to building out your first character. It's that simple and a lot of people don't understand how simple it can be but again if you're just someone who's beginning, uh, trying to be an artist of some sort, someone who wants to draw people. This is how you should do it. Again, do not start off by drawing in all the detail. Don't start off drawing all the clothing on them. Uh, it's definitely difficult. And then another key step that you guys need to do whenever you're doing your character in this form, make sure you clean it up. With Adobe Illustrator, the eraser tool kind of makes things like funk out, so it's not the best tool to use. So I just click on the lines I just want to delete, and then I just delete them. And then I go back in, and then I put lines that might have been there, might not have been there, and I do that. And if you're doing what I'm doing here, it is okay to pop back up the image and then try fine tuning your lines. And this is a very good method on how to make your own custom creations. Sometimes if you can't figure out the right body pose, just get a person or reference of some sort and then trace the outline of it and then add your own clothing, add your own actions, add your own background and stuff like that just to make your own image special to you. Now on to the second image, which is this purple girl. Um, if you look at her closely, you can just see that some of the parts of her body is uh, not matching the other parts. For example, her left leg is a little bit more thicker than her right leg and her left hand is huge in comparison to her right hand. So uh, there, this is really good practice for you if you're trying to do anything. And again, I cannot stress this enough, building blocks, legs, circles butt area, um, set that back with circles, circles again, uh, <laughs> chest, triangles and squares, uh, boobs, circles, arms, kind of ovalish type stuff, uh, shoulders, circles, feet, hands, fingers, blocks, and you can round them off at the end and you can fine tune it later and just really just feel it out and 
uh, like I said, people always do frown upon about tracing, but if you're just really trying to just, you know, put a boost onto your own production, figure out how to do things, this is the way to do it. And if you're digital drawing like I am, then it is uh, like 100 times easier. And then like one of the things you could do after you get past this phase where you're just tracing out the outline characters and making your this like this you can then try doing as a second step is putting the character off to the side and then drawing your character mimicking what you're looking at it's like i said figure drawing 101 type shit um that's all you really got to do and it really does help out yourself and your own intellectual skill when you're doing this because everyone has to begin somewhere and do not be frowned upon doing this uh, if someone catches you tracing in your house whatever you know don't let them put you down about it just say that you're practicing because this really is a practice method this is what i did when i first started doing artistic stuff back when i was younger i started tracing things out of books and stuff like that and then eventually i moved from tracing things i got tired of it started making my own things and i became better and better and better so it is a time conscious thing it takes lots of practice do not be afraid and take your time and don't forget to clean up your image that's all I gotta say. Um, both of these images are very great. Uh, the artists are very talented who made them. One, the one I'm doing right now, I think his name is Death House, and the other one is IMB or I Am Art, something like that. And uh, great, fantastic artists on Insta IG and stuff like that. Make great art all the time. And uh, yeah, and to touch up, like I said earlier, look at the legs. So this is an exact trace of the legs. And you can see that on the left leg, it's just like huge in comparison to the right leg, which looks a little alienated. Um, I didn't draw her butt properly. This is a front uh, forward view or like a three-fourths view. So you kind of have to draw her butt in the back still, you know, show, show that her butt hangs a little bit. That is the thing you have to be conscious of just because that is a real human thing that people have the, the you know, that's part of it and just really just take your time with it and practice and then after you do things like this like let's say you did this just because you couldn't figure anything out you trace the outside of a character of someone else's art and then you threw your own clothes on and stuff it's nothing too serious or too crazy or too bad just because you're borrowing someone else's figure um a lot of times a lot of artists they actually have those little um those I'm not sure what they call them, mannequins, uh, drawing figures. That's what they use to draw their characters and stuff like that. And that's what they do. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Do not let anyone put you down about tracing. It really is a, a huge importance when it comes to drawing characters uh, and figure drawing. Definitely, if you're drawing figures like what I'm doing, um, it definitely is a great stepping stone before you start progressing onto harder and more challenging stuff and just practice 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 figure it out feel it make sure your lines are nice and circular um round it off you know uh, during the first main sketching phase you know you can make everything blocky things here and there and stuff but then like as you keep on progressing you can start to merge the lines together and round it off and make it nice and smooth because the human body is a very curvy thing if depending on your character if it's skinny fat um, doesn't matter the, that's just the way how the body is and just have a lot of fun with it and do not forget again to use your building blocks your guidelines all of that stuff it really does help and hopefully this video helped you guys but this is your boy diamonds here at common sense graphics hopefully you guys like the video gonna let the video go but your boy out